Hello, I know I promised uh, a video about my exploit in Utah as my first video of the new year, but uh, some new developments have come to light uh, that have delayed that video only slightly. It is coming very soon, believe me, believe me. Uh, but in the meantime, I've had to switch things around, so today I'm just going to do another quiz, and this time it is on uh, British English words, just from having the American equivalents alone. This is a Sporkle quiz once more, uh, so we have a list of words here. I'm just going to get right through them all. haven't looked at these words, uh, so don't know how good this quiz is we will see and if it's bad we will pass judgment if it's good and i do terribly you can pass judgment on me okay let's play quiz all right fall is the first one technically uh, a british english word actually coined in britain uh, years ago uh, and uh, not used there much to this day however the its equivalent its british equivalent which is of course autumn um is used by americans that should be said that uh, it isn't a word that's unknown here by any means gas uh, another word uh, uh, comes from gasoline in fact was coined once again technically by the british uh, by john Cassell, it came from his uh, from Kaseline oil, they believe, um, and that is how it fell into usage. Stopped being used in uh, British English uh, in around the uh, late 1800s, um, and they had petrol instead. Cookie, uh, famously, we refer to as a biscuit. A biscuit, of course, here in America is something entirely different, something more savory. Uh, apartment, uh, typically refer to that as flat. That word can be found here occasionally, but usually has a very specific meaning. Hood, I don't think they're talking about Robin Hood or the hood that you would put up, but rather the hood on the front of a car, which is a bonnet. Of course, both words can be used uh, to mean uh, a hood uh, of some kind. Trade. Uh, they don't mean film trailer, I'm assuming. Oh, they mean, um, you know, caravan, I suppose we'd call it. Do we? Yes, we do. Uh, drugstore, we're looking there for chemists. Yep. Uh, bureau, what the heck is a bureau? I don't know what a bureau is. Come back to that, French word, but in this context, I don't know what a British equivalent of it would be. Um, does it let me move on to the next one? Yes, it does, but I have to move my stupid little face over to here. And there's the next. Uh, so fries, that would be uh, chips. And then potato chips, which is also chips, uh, would be crisps. Easy, easy as you like. Uh, thumbtack, here's an interesting one that often uh, trips a lot of people up. Uh, we don't call it that. Uh, it was a very unique and unusual word to me when I heard thumbtack for the first time. Uh, we would, the long form of this is is drawing pin, and I suspect that that's what they've got. Yes, it is. Uh, freeway, I think the nearest equivalent we're looking for is, is motorway. Yes. Uh, trash can, uh, bin or waste paper basket. Yes, bin. Uh, movie, uh, we call them movies as well, uh, but also film. Purse, I don't own a purse. Uh, I think what the Americans call purse, we call a handbag. Uh, elevator, we sometimes use the word elevator, contrary to popular belief, but we also say lift. Uh, we also say truck occasionally, but we will say lorry. Allowance, I don't know what that would be. It's too early in the morning. I've never seen that one before. Bar. We say bar. What do you mean? I suppose they're talking about pub, but a pub and a bar are not the same thing. Um, mail, post. Of course, Royal Mail we have in, in Britain that delivers the post. And then in the US, they have uh, the uh, postal service that delivers the mail. Zip code, postal code. Uh, or just postcode, I suppose, isn't it? Yes, postcode. Restroom, toilet. Uh, railroad, what do you mean, railroad, what's different? Just railway, I suppose, yes. Eraser, <laughs> rubber, <laughs> don't get any ideas. Trash, uh, just rubbish. Uh, store, like shop, yeah. Uh, wrench is a spanner, to throw a spanner in the works, to throw a wrench in the works. Uh, candy, well, this could be one or two. Some people think that candy specifically means chocolate, and some people think it just means sweets, the equivalent being sweet. So go with sweets, and it is sweet. So we've got two left. Bureau, what on earth is a bureau in this context? How do Americans use bureau? Um, I don't know. Well, there's uh, the FBI is a bureau of investigation. Um, is it department? No, that doesn't make sense. I, I, because Americans use department. I don't know what that is. Wow, you'd think I would. And allowance. 
like a... I mean, we use the word allowance, like a financial allowance for a child, for example. Um, I don't know what it's going to come up with there. Well, I've got 11 seconds left. Does, let me know in the comments, what do you think these two words are? You're shouting at your screen right now. I don't know. It's going to come up. Chest of drawers. You call that a bureau? I've never heard that in my life. Uh, maybe it's regional, I don't know, or, or arch archaic, but I've never heard anyone refer to a chest of drawers as a bureau. Uh, interesting. Uh, I, I, that's really interesting. Pocket money. How did I forget pocket money for allowance? Yeah, we do use that term. I've just remembered that. I, I think the reason I forgot that is I haven't been a child since, you know, ages ago, the 90s. Uh, and I've not received pocket money since then. In fact, after I, I, I stopped being young enough to have pocket money, um, I then started getting an allowance. So we do use that term. Um, it's like we ha 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 had a family allowance, I think it was, something like that. Uh, so not great. I mean, 26 out of 28, but I, sh I should really be doing better after living here for 10 years. But uh, let me know in the comments, do you refer to a chest of drawers as a bureau? Uh, do you even know what a chest of drawers is? It's uh, basically just some drawers where you put your clothes or what have you. Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but a bureau, I, I do not know that. In this context, uh, I've, I've not heard that before. You learn something new every day on this planet, in this country or any country. So that's good. Okay, thank you. Just a quick one today. Uh, just to let you know, we will be back, of course, with more videos coming very frequently. We're hoping to put out videos on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays uh, in 2019. I know it's a far cry from when we were doing Vlogmas, when it was a video every day. But uh, this way, at least I'll be able to, uh, you know, breathe, which is something I didn't actually do during Vlogmas. It's amazing I'm still alive. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode of Distant Words. Don't forget to hit my stupid little face to subscribe and please share this video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and if you'd like to support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash lostinthepond.